Hello dear friends. Hey guys. Welcome back to the channel. We're the Amundsen family. My name is Jory. This is my lovely wife. Bename or B. Please make sure you subscribe to the channel and comment down below so that we can stay in touch with you. Don't forget to like, share, and turn on that notification bell so, so you, you know, know when, when a new, new video, video comes out. out. Thank you. So today we're talking about why you should never get into an interracial relationship. Never, never, never get mm -hmm. into one. <laughs> we have 10 points on why you should never get into an interracial relationship. Shall we start? Let's do it. Okay, number one, if you just want some mixed babies, you probably should not be in <laughs> an interracial uh, relationship. Right. Like we know that mixed babies are cute, but that is not a that, reason why. Yeah, that alone is not a good enough reason to get into an interracial relationship. That's right. Number two, if you think that one race is better than the other. That's right. If you think, oh, that black man ain't nothing, that white girl ain't nothing, <laughs> you probably should not be in an interracial relationship yep. because there's good and bad on right. both sides and no one race is better than another one, even though one might think yeah they are so take a little time to contemplate uh -huh. reflect and know whether you have that mindset that's pretty good huh? number three if you just want to test it out do yes I, this do isn't I... this isn't a this isn't a used car lot no it's you not you we're, we're not test driving people no we're somebody not. once told me you got to test drive so you know no nah, no that analogy breaks down in relationships it does like people <laughs> have y'all people have feelings oh, oh, yeah. like you just can't do that you yes. can't say well, I think I might be interested in a black girl, girl. or I might be interested in a white guy. Don't look at like they're objects, like mm -hmm. they're people with emotions, with feelings, yep. like with a soul, a spirit. Like this, you can't. We're not practicing. This yeah. is for keeps. This is for keeps. Like <laughs> this is for real. Like you, you want a lot, man. That's somebody's heart. <laughs> yes, yeah, that's yes. Right. And you yeah. don't want to like mess around yeah, with just it. Test just, it out. See how it's it not goes. a good idea. I'll dip my toe in and see how it goes. No, you better jump in on me. <laughs> Number four, if you fetishize being with a black woman. Mm. Okay, a relationship is not all physical. And you need to know whether you're just doing it because you got that jungle fever. I like fever, what you say. You got that jungle fever. <laughs> <laughs> yes, okay. black girls do have amazing bodies and they're nice beautiful. Curves. Nice so curves. guess what? Some white girls do too. Well, a lot of white yeah. girls do too. I had a girl in uh, high school. I was like, she got a bigger bump than me. How is that possible? And she's like the sweetest person. <laughs> what I'm saying is like, you shouldn't, what we're saying is you should not just look at a yeah. white girl's curling. That go, shouldn't be the only reason. Oh my no, she's no, no. Goddess. Having said that, yes, I noticed you. I just say I noticed you because you were very attractive. But that is not why you married me. No, that's no. that can't be the reason why you choose Get to be in a, a, a long-lasting relationship. Yeah. yeah. So let's repeat that. If you fetishize a black girl, a black you woman, probably should not. You should never right be into in an interracial right. relationship. Right, no, it's, it needs to be more. More than that. Yeah. Number five, if you think you are marrying up or dating up by being with a white person. Boy, bye. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so no person, like we say before, no person is better than the other. Right. Um, there, in life, you'll have struggles regardless of, you know, what side of the <laughs> good. what side of the railroad tracks you came from? Right. Like right. there, there are issues. So you sh you shouldn't think, oh, uh, blow it up, blow it up. Yeah. So I, up, I have a personal up, anecdote about this. Mm -hmm. When I was dating Bename and we were seriously considering getting married, mm -hmm. someone I know made the comment, uh, something about gold digger. To Bename. I ain't you a gold digger. <laughs> The gym as well. okay. Now, the funny part is, I didn't have any money <laughs> at all. I, I was not working a, a great job or anything. So, no. this this is why it's funny, okay? Because I she wasn't marrying up. <laughs> I was saying yes to someone I loved. Someone yeah. who just drew me out of my comfort zone mm -hmm. in a lot of things mm -hmm. and quite frankly he had more debt than i did yeah. all i had was student loan yeah so it, anyways yeah first day i showed up in a 1982 chevette and my that sister was, was like girl run <laughs> that was the car i drove this old little tiny 
yeah. loud, rusty. Do we have a picture of it? Maybe, maybe, we, can maybe we can find a picture if, to insert. If we found, <laughs> find a picture, I will insert it to you guys. Yeah, her sisters were like, out. don't get in that car. They were like, wait a minute, you for real? <laughs> they knew me. They, they, they knew I did not play about that. They were like, you, you about to really get yeah. into that car? Yeah. And I was like, I think it's cute that he showed up like, this is who I am. And I was like, I want you. <laughs> you like me for me yes I love him for him so yes I don't think you're marrying up and I think a lot of people just have a misconception that some people do yeah yeah that because a black woman is with a white man they they he must have money right. like that's not the case <laughs> no. at least not over here no. <laughs> We have done much better because yeah. we're together I think than so. I did on my own. That's right. <laughs> so, uh, just like it. Number six. Uh -huh. If you think being with a white guy means you'll be treated better. Mm -mm. Now, let me <laughs> <Hey>. say this. <laughs> he does treat me very well. That does not mean a black guy couldn't treat me just as well. Right. Like, so yep. it's wrong to think that one race would treat you better and then the other. Right. I think what people want to say is not what they're saying so check out this next video i have coming out maybe next week on thursday that would probably give you an idea of what people think when they say uh he's gonna treat me better mm -hmm. so anyway yeah, bename is gonna be discussing this more in depth in her own one-on-one -on -one with you yeah so if you think that oh being with a white guy they're gonna treat me better you probably should not get into an interracial relationship just like number <laughs> seven if you cannot handle being criticized or your relationship being criticized you probably you should not probably shouldn't be in an should interracial should definitely relationship. not be in an interracial <laughs> because it is difficult yeah it is it's hard pretty much inevitable yeah yeah you're going to receive criticism some type whether it's verbal whether it's actions whether it's looks yeah. Which is yeah. whether it's <clears throat> passive. <laughs> yeah, passive. Yeah. 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 So like, um, if you can't handle that, you probably shouldn't because it's it's not a relationship on its own is already hard. Mm -hmm. So when you couple that with um, another layer like interracial yeah. relationship, it's even it's a lot harder. Yeah. You you either need to be thick skinned or have the ability to move through difficulty mm -hmm. when it comes to criticism. That's yeah. right. You just, yeah. You need to know what you have and be confident with what the two of you have. Just the two of us. We can make it if we try. Just the two of us. Dad dance. Mm -hmm. Number eight. <laughs> If you think dating or marrying a black woman mm -hmm. will make you woke, Lots of people, <laughs> you probably shouldn't Should not be in an in interracial a, relationship. That's right. That's right. Okay. Yeah, just because you with a, a sister or a brother doesn't mean you down now. Yeah, I can't. I can't just walk out and start using certain words because I'm married to Ben. Child by. <laughs> Okay, so listen. That's not, I don't get a license. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> um, and I think that is one of, actually one of the reasons why I said yes to uh, getting to know Jory better. Hmm. Is because when I met him, he didn't change his speech pattern. I didn't change my speech pattern. <laughs> like, his, like, his his swag or the lack thereof. I had none. <laughs> I have no swag. No, Didn't I was homeschooled and I grew up in the countryside. <laughs> With high water pants. I was like, hey, oh, hey, God. hey, no, come on now. You gotta call me out like that. She's done a lot for my style. I'll I say that. This is a fine young man. Why are you that dressed wardrobe? like that? I was like, mm mm, that hey, has to go. Who's, his dad, who's dressing you? His dad actually said thank you. <laughs> Yeah, she went through my closet. She was like, this is going to go. This is going to go. We're going to put this in and this. And I was like, huh? And my dad was like, good, good job. Because he's so handsome. And I'm like, he should not be dressing that way. So, like, yeah, I loved Jory. And I loved Jory because he didn't change who he was. And I didn't change who I was. Like, so... Take that make it, it. yeah it made it easy for us in that sense <laughs> number nine if you are just doing it to upset your parents <laughs> or your family you like, probably shouldn't you, be in an interracial relationship never it's not good because it won't last and like like yeah. we said earlier people have feelings right people have 
there's a spirit into a person. So like you don't want to mess with people's emotion like that because when right. they do find the right person, their heart's gonna be not whole. Yeah, and that when you when you get together with another person, mm -hmm. it's not just the two of you. You're bringing your families along, yeah. whether you want to or not. That's right. You're still linked mm -hmm. because they're your family right. to that family. So it's silly to start a relationship trying to make a point to your That's family. That's right. Yeah, it you, won't work. No, you need to last. do it because. It's what you want, and it's what the other person wants. And you love each other? Yes. That's, Period. That's Period. <laughs> <laughs> Number 10. If you are not open-minded mm -mm. to other cultures... Mm -mm. You should probably never get into an interracial, <laughs> yeah. interracial yeah. relationship. Uh, I, I had a wise person in my life once tell me that if you want to enter a culture, you have to do it as an infant. Mm -hmm. So your mindset needs to be... Put everything aside. I'm starting fresh. I'm willing to learn. And this is the, if it's a person you love, you're willing to do that anyway. Yep. To, yeah. Yeah. Um, you need to be willing to lay down your mis, anything, your mindsets, any misconceptions you may have. Yeah. Um, you don't know their misconceptions probably, but anyway, right. you need to be willing to just learn mm -hmm. each other and each other's cultures. Yeah. Don't take the person just like, oh, I'm going to take him because he's white and I like the Christian aspect of him, but... You know the white culture i just can't deal with or the black culture right, right. and then you're not loving that person yeah. as a who they are yeah because their culture is what formed them yeah okay. you can't embrace them without embracing their culture that's right you don't get to so yes like he couldn't just love Bename without the dancing right, part right. of Bename and the, the ghetto food. part yeah. of Bename. Mm. And the hood. Every, every bit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I can be crazy at times. I don't I don't exhibit those behaviors all the time. Yes. But he knows I used to, you know, fist fight once upon a time. <laughs> <laughs> and our, our dear friend Trevor Noah talks a little bit about embracing culture uh -huh. and he brings out the aspect of food which i think is really cool how he does that that's right and how uh, different culture brings flavor and that's so right. so you need to be willing to accept and embrace the beauty of the other person's culture because that brings flavor to your that's relationship that's right yeah. so like yeah those are our 10 reasons to why you should never ever 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 Get ever ever into ever 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 an interracial relationship that's right <laughs> <laughs> so thank you guys so much for watching we mm -hmm. hope we covered every aspect of the reason why you should never get into an interracial relationship don't forget to like comment share and with that dear friends keep, keep looking, looking up, up.